Hi everyone, so in this video we will learn how to specify a return type for the function. Let's get a function first. So it will be add. It will have two parameters. Val1 type will be number. Val2 type will be number for this. I will simply get the total of this. Call this function with two numbers, two and three. So the return will be five. Just save it. And this is the output. To specify the return type, you have to put colon here, then number. If I'll put string here, then you'll get an error because the type of val1 and val2 is number but we want to return a string that's why we are getting an error in such a scenario you can convert this total into a string like this talk to string okay now save it and you'll get five in return you can follow same approach in case of anonymous functions. So to create an anonymous function, you have to remove this part, put let here and equal sign. Now save it, go to browser and you'll get five. Just change it, make it six, save it. And this is the output. So this is how you can use this return type in case of anonymous function. Now let's take this example a little further and try to use a type alias here. First we'll create type alias like we did in the previous video. So it will be string or num. It will be equal to union type. Now we'll use this type alias here. Here, sorry for this. Just copy this, paste here, and here. Now we need to modify this. We need to apply type guards here, like we did in the previous video. So if val1 equal to number, and just put quotes here. And type of val2 also equal to number. We want to simply return the total. So val1 plus val2. And default case will be for the string. So it will be val1 plus val2. Just make it two string here. Okay. So this is the return type for this anonymous function, which is basically a type alias. Now save it, go to browser, you will get eight. Let's pass hello world. Save it and you'll get hello world. I hope you got the point how it actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.